What's up YouTube? Here we go again. So today I'm going to show you a technique that I discovered with the stock Ableton Live's compressor, which is going to allow you to resolve the kick and bass issue in this similar precision as the Kickstar 2, for example. And I really hope that today I'm going to show you something that you haven't yet discovered or seen on YouTube, because I personally watched a lot of YouTube videos where this was discussed and I never saw this exact technique. So let me show it to you. So let's say that you have a track. Sounds really great, but now we don't have any side chains and kick and bass are basically having this conflict as always. And we don't want this conflict, we want to resolve it. What I would normally do is that I would put the kickstart, open it up, use this one here and yeah. And adjust it in a way that bass starts exactly when kick ends. And that would resolve my issue and I will just move on. And let me show you how you can do this with the compressor by Ableton Live. So right, let's say that you have your compressor and what you would normally do is that you would click sidechain then find your kick and then just put your ratio to infinity attack to the minimum level release to the minimum level the mode is pick and envelope is linear and also you'll put the threshold to infinity and yeah that's it that's what normally people would do with their sidechain but let me show you what problem this actually causes let's just listen to it first kind of all right but let me show you that there is a problem i will solo the group with kick and bass and record the issue is obvious once the kick ends the bass starts but not as i want it to start i want it to be blend with the kick and you cannot do this with the compressor in a normal way as you would expect but there is a workaround let me show you so first of all you want to go to your kick channel and i like to use midi channel for this because now i can group my kick open up the instances and duplicate it now i'm going to rename this kick into sidechain kick and mute it because i don't want it to duplicate the sound what i'm going to do next is that i'm going to root this kick which is sidechain kick to my compressor and this is a really important step because you want to use the post fix rather than post mixer because if you use post mixer it won't do anything because in the post we don't have any sound because i muted it and so yeah i just choose the post fix and now you would think all right what's next let me show you the next step is to adjust the length of the sidechain kick and by adjusting i mean reducing and in order to do this precisely we need to record what we do along with the adjusting process Now you see that the phase of the bass moving. And we gotta be really careful here because we, if we reduce it too much, then it's going to cause more phase issues. For now it looks good, but it's not yet there. Let me show what has to be done to avoid this extra artifacts that we are having. So what I discovered is that if you put the knee on 18 dB, as well as the release to 135 and attack to 10, it will allow you to remove any possible artifacts along the way. Yeah, sounds really good. If you have headphones right now, you will hear that there are no problems with the attack of the kick. It always is the same. And yeah, the phase looks exactly the same as it would with the kickstart. So let's compare. Let's first play with the kickstart too. Looks really great. And if we put our kickstart three, so to say, the result is the same and yeah, that's what I really like about this technique is that if you want to know how you can utilize such an important technique without using any third-party plugins within Ableton Live then this is really valuable and cool technique that you can use and I'm really happy that I could show it to you and the fact that I even discovered it now you can save this as a preset within Ableton let's call it Kickstarter 3 and you can even put it in your favorite plugins and now you can use it anywhere you can just put it and map it to your kick channel where you have your sidechain kick and yeah that's basically it, it will allow you to mix your tracks with extra precision if you as nerdy as freaky as i am as any other mix engineer that really likes to blend things together that likes to resolve issues such as phase issues with kick and bass then yeah you're more than welcome to use this one i really hope you found this helpful and it's really cool if you watch hundreds of videos with ableton live compressor but you haven't ever stumbled upon this kind of technique because it's yeah it's really cool yeah thank you for watching and see you in the next videos guys